so Ron, you have a really good perspective kind of um, flying above all those different vendors and companies um, and a lot of experience with diverse customers that where is this all going in five to 10 years? Where will we be? Yeah, that's a great question. You know, from, from our perspective, um, we're in early stages of the journey mm -hmm. towards big data and, you know, the whole industry will come along and the economy is going to really change in meaningful ways as more companies become data driven, as you get startups that are, are using big data as a weapon to change value chains, right? So mm -hmm. I think over time, what you're going to see is that, um, that the, the data platform, the analytics platform will be integrated into drive strategic outcomes in many companies, mm -hmm. right? That they're going to use data science as a fundamental way of both thinking about strategy, how to resolve, you know, how do you come up with experiments to test and learn about what's going to work and, and as well as process execution, mm -hmm. having the right data, breaking down silos in front of people that are acting in a process and the right level of automation to drive response as events come in that you can use machine learned models that are continuously being improved. From, a, from, from the technology standpoint, I think that's gonna mean you're gonna have um, rich platforms based on open source that are used for both real-time response and for the analytic core, mm -hmm. you're gonna to continue to have evolution. I mean, one of the things that's gonna be an interesting X factor that will hit over the next five, 10 years is changing storage dynamics. Mm -hmm. You know, as you, you start to see things like solid state memory that that uh, retain that, that functions a lot like DRAM, but right. retains data when power is off, right? Yeah. So use of more solid state storage along with spinning disks is gonna be really interesting. E even smaller things like the fact that Increasingly, really large disks are not being designed to have access to data be as easy, right? That they're being designed in complex ways that are not as efficient. So you're getting some bifurcation and even in spinning disk. Um, so you know, I think I think the the changes in the underlying architecture are going to be interesting. And you know, in a space where you've got just massive innovation, I think you're going to see a lot of a lot of different ideas flourish around you know virtualization and open stack and cloud and I, I think that you'll see more big data capabilities moving to the cloud over the next few years that there'll be uh, that, that some of the current challenges and limitations in cloud will be will be resolved mm -hmm. um, some of the the current cultural disadvantages of cloud skepticism about cloud will be mitigated um, just like you know, ten years ago to, to say you'd put customer data in the cloud would be considered heresy, and now Salesforce.com is ubiquitous. Multi-billion right? dollar. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you know, I think that that's another trend you're going to see is is definitely uh, a lot of factors converging. But what won't change? What's what's clear is that it's going to take a while because there's a lot to learn about really driving innovation and changing culture mm -hmm. to deliver value from big data. But that over the next decade, it's going to have probably a bigger impact on economic growth than the wave of client server computing and, and workflow automation had in the 90s. Wow. So I think it's going to create a tremendous amount of value for humankind. Great. Well, thank you very much Cheers. for coming by. Thank you. Cheers.